Welcome, in this video we will see cross-site scripting also called as XSS. Cross-site scripting attacks are a type of injection in which malicious scripts are injected into trusted websites. XSS attacks occur when an attacker uses a web application to send malicious code generally in the form of browser-side script to a different end user. Flaws that allow these attacks to succeed are quite widespread and occur whenever a web application uses input from a user within the output it generates without validating or encoding it. An attacker can use XSS to send malicious script to an unsuspecting user. The end user's browser has no way to know that and will execute the script. Because it thinks the script came from a trusted source, the malicious script can access any cookies, session tokens or other sensitive information retained by the browser and used with that site. These scripts can even rewrite the content of HTML page. To know more in detail, we need to know types of cross-site scripting. In early days, only two types of primary cross-site scripting were identified that is stored XSS and reflected XSS. And later on in 2005, the third one that is DOM based XSS came out. So let's see in brief these three types. Stored XSS generally occurs when user input is stored on the target server, such as in the database, in the message forum, visitor log, comment field, etc and then a victim is able to retrieve the stored data from web application without that data being made safe to render in the browser. With the advent of HTML5 and other browser technologies, we can envision the attack payload being permanently stored in the victim browser such as HTML5 database and never being sent to the server at all. And never being sent to the server at all. Reflected XSS it occurs when user input is immediately returned by a web application in an error message. Search result or any other response that includes some or all of the input provided by the user as a part of the request and without permanently storing the user provided data. In some cases, the user provided data may never leave the browser. And the third one. DOM based XSS. DOM based XSS is a form of XSS where the entire tainted data flow from source to sync takes place in the browser. That is, the source of the data is in the DOM. The sync is also in the DOM. And the data flow never leaves the browser. For example, the source where the malicious data is read could be the URL of the page could be the URL of the page, for example, document location, or it could be an element of the HTML and the sync is sensitive method call that causes the execution of malicious data. Types of cross-site scripting. So there are basically two types, server-side and client-side. Server-side is when the untrusted user supplied data is included in an HTML response generated by the server and the client side is when the untrusted user supplied data is used to update the DOM with an unsafe JavaScript call. To know more about cross-site scripting in depth, visit this website that is owasp.org. They have mentioned these things even in depth. Just go and read it if you want to know in depth as I would not like to make all my videos theoretical and boring. So please go ahead and read it from the link in description or the link you are seeing here, you can just go and visit it. That's all in introduction to cross-site scripting. Thank you for watching this video.